Hi guys. So I'm making the um, boss of short of parata roti today and I wanted to share with you guys a few tips or tricks. Now the first thing is I'm going to tell you all is that I made the flour with milk. Stay fresh milk, whole milk. I don't like using evaporated milk. I find it's too heavy. When you do that you get, once you use the milk you get a really nice light delicate roti. So what we're doing here is we're oiling both sides of the roti, roti <laughs> lightly with some vegetable oil. Now I'm going to turn this over. Now I have my heat. The next step is you want your heat to be on a medium low or a low. And I have an electric stove and my heat is on. The element is 3.0. Now, I find that works really well for me. If you wanted to do a four, you can. If you wanted a more of a brown or a crispy roti, what you have to do is just change that element temperature to about like a five. So, I'm not going to let it sit there long. I'm actually going to turn it over again. Now, this is not going to take very long to cook. My heat is perfect and i rolled it up pretty thin what i like to do is because this is an electric stove and i don't get that heat throughout the tower i like to pull the roti to the center of the tower like this you see this end here it needs some more cooking so once you find that perfect temperature like for me it's 3.0 and you put your roti on and you don't let it stay long and then you need that flour with that milk look at the type of soft silky and delicate paratha you'll get now a detailed version for this is already on the channel but i just wanted to like just briefly show you guys me cooking one and talking about it and i'm going to continue to pull it like this and you'll see all of those flakes already starting to show I just want to make sure that the roti is cooked properly on the ends because on an electric stove it's really different all around here there's no heat the heat is focused on the center right here so now that we do that we do this which is busting up the roti hence the reason the name bust up shot right and you see all of those layers are forming and you'll see in my detailed video how to wrap it to form those layers. I would say this is a Trini croissant. Nice, buttery and flaky. The only difference is it's very soft and silky. Look at this. Look how perfect. Isn't that perfect, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Perfect, silky, roti. Make sure and store it in something warm. And thank you guys so much for watching. Comment and let me know what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.